And he also on top business story, the House of Representatives, they don't support the candidacy for the position of Director General of the World Trade Organization of Ngozi Okonjo Iwela. And this is now sake of the recent endorsement from the federal government for Nigeria and former Minister of Finance and Economic Planning. The motion we've been there raised by Ndudi Elumelu still call on the federal government to make them rally other African countries to support her bid so that Africa fit to present a united front. With the COVID-19 pandemic at hand, and many countries faced with difficult choices and critical moments, the World Trade Organization has a vital role to play in hunting for trade solutions and building trust amongst member states, hence the need for a capable hand that can make the World Trade Organization fit to try for the 21st century. There is no gain saying that we'll have a capable hand from Nigeria that will provide such headship. But we must urgently reach out to the governments of Egypt and Kenya on the need to rally around a single candidate for the continent in, in, in the person of a candidate that Nigeria has put forward. Having functioned very effectively and efficiently at the World Bank and also as Minister of Finance in Nigeria, for one of our best, Mr. Speaker, I would like to urge our colleagues here and indeed other Nigerians around the world to seek support wherever they can get it to give to our daughter to go again and do one of the things she knows how to do best, which is putting Nigeria on the global map and representing us well.